Hi, in this video I will talk about the Surah 37, the Arranger Surah, and protect, protect it like fragile eggs. So previously we have to read from the beginning. So that's referring to they have deserved provisions that are reserved specifically for them. All kinds of fruits they will be honored. In the gardens of bliss, uh, on furnishing close to one another, cups of pure drinks will be offered them clear and delicious for the drinkers so food and never polluted and never exhausted with them will be wonderful companions protected like fragile eggs so here i want to say that i want to talk about the fragile eggs and protection and uh, it was also mentioned never polluted and never exhausted food so it is interesting that eggs are protected by shells and it, it's also preventing the pollution of uh, eggs and, and it has something to do with egg, egg shell. So we can read information about egg shell. Um, egg shell waste can cause environmental problems but it's, it's a different topic. But so so let's read this title first. Scientists crack the code of shell strength, paving the way for safer eggs. Professor Mark Mackey will let the study said all the same nutritious things in eggs that can help ch chick embryos to grow also make for a very fertile growth field for pathogens. Most of all of us know about salmonella bacteria, which can cause food poisoning. It's a major problem in the egg industry where cracked egg shells or broken eggs will allow entry into the egg and cause food food poisoning he said about 10 20 percent of chicken eggs breaks or crack so it's uh, so it's interesting that in the verse it says fragile eggs and once we know how to analyze nanostructure in eggs and what it means in terms of function and how they contribute to hardness then the egg industry for example can use that information to genetically select for strains of chickens that consistently produce stronger eggs. The fragility of egg shells meant that new techniques and new equipment had to be used to prepare samples for study. Egg shells are notoriously difficult to study by traditional means because they easily break when we try to make a thin slice for imaging by electron microscopy. So they are fragile. Uh, so people, so we know that it, they are they are fragile indeed, but. Uh, it is indeed a very interesting way of saying, and it was uh, clearly mentioned after talking about pol pollution of food and never exhausted. And at that time, uh, they don't know the importance of it. They don't know the importance of. They don't know much about the importance of food uh, safety. So how we can see that? Like for example, if you look at the hadiths, uh, so they they're mentioning like if you do fly and how to, uh, you know, the hadith about fly. So uh, they recommend that you should put the fly into the soap and it will make your soup better. So at that time, they're not very familiar with this. So this this is not directly related to what I say, but inter interesting, it's indeed a inter very interesting expression, protected like fragile eggs. And after saying it never polluted and never exhausted, clear and delicious for the drinkers. And also another thing is, and being delicious is also has related to pollution, never polluted and never exhausted. So if the, the food is polluted, then in the world it's more likely like not very delicious unless they add something, some additives. So in the nature we have evolutionary mechanisms we and mechanisms that led by God and with that mechanisms we can we can taste things and if it tastes good then it's more likely to better if they if it tastes good not really poisonous but if it tastes bad it's probably poisonous and you should maybe even vomit so that's all I want to say it's my interpretation thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video